Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? Just see from Porky's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here. Nobody dare say. Isn't that right? Get this off now. I couldn't get it off when I wanted to shoot that Michael up in nothing. All right, what's going on here? <laughs> right. Right. Here we go. Let's go for it this morning. Powerless. Crusher. Is Crusher powerless? I don't just mean power as in throwing his big punches. I mean powerless as regards his career. He's like all these people uh, have an opinion, on it, on his career. And yeah, Connor, you need to be doing this. Connor, you need to do that and do this, do that, and say this and say that. Where's it going? Where? I ain't going anywhere, has it? Because July 2022, training that dope test, it's now February 2024, and we're still in the same situation. We're still in the same situation, aren't we? Notes proved, nothing whatsoever. Uh, no, he's not innocent. He's saying he's been cleared by two different bodies. Who? WBC, Weeby Crooks, and those other ones. I don't know, it's all confusing, isn't it? Let's see what the border control have got to say about it. All right. Now, Eddie Hills has put an offer now to Tank Davis. They're saying between eight figures and 15 million. They're 15 million. That's the last resort. It can't be no more than that. That's the upside of it, depending on what. What buys it does, but that's the cutoff point where they'll pay up to 15. The bottom one, it looks like it's 10 million. So guaranteed 10 million for tank, eight figures, guaranteed 15 million max. Well, don't you get about that anyway? So, but it's an easy, it's easy work for him, isn't it? So that's where they're going to tempt him, but he's not going to get a fair shake in UK, is he? Uh, Fat Dan piped up. He's on every trending story, isn't he? Fat Dan. You know what I mean? When he's not hanging out at back of Andre Ward. That's why I don't like Fat Dan. I'm not keen on him. Piping up, saying that Tank gets that money anyway in the UK. Yeah, but so what? Crusher's called them all that, ain't he? Fat Dan, if you do your own work. Crawford, Tank. Ain't it? Boots, ain't it? Kel Brook, Beefy. I mean, one, one name I'm not hearing mentioned is David E. Phoenician. Why? Why are you not mentioning him? You beat him, you're proper in the mix. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to mention him, are you? Probably because he's not in out shouting it all about. You know, he's a former world champion and he's got hardware. He's got a European title. I'm not sure he might have still have that. If you beat him, you get a guaranteed top 15 ranking across the board. So you beat even Isha, then you can start calling out your Crawfords and that. Earn your stripes. It's not rocket science, is it? You know what I mean? It's not rocket science. Why not uh, after get why not get a fight going in-house? Why not get Dalton Smith to step up? And fight, yeah. You're not gonna do that, are you? No. Manny Pacquiao is even in the mix now. He's old enough to be Crusher's old man. What is Manny Pacquiao now? You're not that much younger than me. Hey, Manny Pacquiao in the in, in the uh, in the mix. Old enough to be that Crusher's daddy. He, could, he might end up just being Crusher's daddy. You never know, do you? You never know. If you look at it, how, how the sceptics are looking at it and the people who 
Well, not anti-matron, but are just... No, I'm not having it. The septics, we call them, don't we? Am I a septic? Maybe. Maybe I am. Does that make me bitter? Probably. Probably, yeah. Probably boxing does do, does do that to you. When you hear that much crap on a daily basis, you're like, God, yeah, it can affect your normal everyday life. So, yes. Uh, I'd be surprised if uh, Manny Pacquiao against Ben Athens. I'd be very, very, very surprised. But Crusher's not going to be bothered, is he? Because if he loses, he lost to an eight-weight world champion. If he wins, he beat an eight-weight world champion. It's good down at record books. He won't be bothered about the fact that the guy's like, you say about 15 years past his sell-by date, wouldn't you? They keep digging him up because he can't, he can't stay out at bookies, can he? No. All we want from Crusher to get the respect of the fans is to if we come back to the UK, take your punishment, Crush, take your punishment and go and fight one of these domestic guys for a domestic belt, whether that be it, an area of English, a British or a Commonwealth, any one of them four belts, come back to the UK and fight for them, or come back to the UK and fight for European against David Evanition, or even fight David Evanition, or fight Josh Kelly. Just do something with somebody at domestic level from the UK instead of calling out all these roadmen because all you're going to do is get a good item but get paid. But why would you want to risk winning a fight that you've not earned? I don't get that, me. I don't get it. Eddie Hills was saying that Ben against Tank Davis would have to bit 147. White collar, white collar Wardley from Ipswich, the roadman killer, saying it's big freeze as miles on the clock because he's coming up to be 33 years of age in the next few months. Big freeze, yeah, but he ain't got miles on the clock as a pro, has he? Really? Well, I see where they're coming from. He's saying that big, big freeze has got miles on the clock. Of course, he looks a bit weather worn, doesn't he, for his age, really? Maybe, maybe. Because they're training all the time up there with the EIS. It's not like being a pro. Maybe it's even harder. Who cares? But all we know is that Fraser Clark's 34 next year. I mean, he's not had 10 fights yet. Canelo Munger in talks. Who, who'd buy into that? Who'd buy into Canelo Munger in talks? Would Big Joe Egan buy into it? Oh, look, that's Mike. Oh, the big dummy. Uh, so no, I don't buy into that. I want to see Canelo against David Benavides, not Mungia. Uh, the Mungia fights Pony. We don't want it. We want Benavides against Canelo. That's what we want. Canelo, stop ducking. I don't believe Fury is a coward. I agree with what people are saying online, I don't believe he's scared of Usyk. I just believe he, he wants it on a, all on his terms, money-wise, ring size, glove choice, who's coming out first or second, whatever. He wants to be A-side. Let him have it just to get the fight on. I think he's purely scared. I don't think he's scared of Usyk. I personally think he's just scared of the fact that it's not a guaranteed win for him, is it? Uh, ben Whitaker, what do you think to him, Porky? I don't like him. I, I hope he gets iced in his next fight or any fight that he fights next. I want to see him get iced. He's not my cup of tea. All that showboating and that. I never liked that when Naz used to do that back in the day, but Naz wasn't doing that against Barrera, worry. So that's what you're going to see. But no, I don't like that. I think it would uh, be Little's fighters. So... As far as I'm concerned, get him, get him put in with uh, Dan Aziz. If he's saying he can beat Dan Aziz and Boatsy now, well, Dan Aziz is just coming off a loss. Why don't you fight him and get somebody to put the proper money up? It's an in house fight, Ben Whitaker, Dan Aziz. Why not? Get it made, Ben Shallon. You'll never look back if you make that fight. That's your ticket into the big time if you put Ben Whitaker in with Dan Aziz. Because if he beats him, 
then you can start calling out the big names and the big Saudi money, can't you, Ben? You'll get your ticket to Saudi. That's what I'd do if I were in charge of that situation or I had a say in it. I'd say, well, roll the dice. You've got an Olympic medalist here, the kid who everybody doesn't like at the moment because he's rubbing everybody up the wrong way, like James DeGale did. Roll the dice and go for it. Let's see Ben Whitaker in a fire. I don't want to see all this... Uh, showboating and ridiculing uh, waste men, bin men, journeymen. I want to see him in with somebody who's got some pedigree. British Commonwealth European champion, Dan Aziz. He's only got one loss on his record. Put Dan Aziz in with Ben Whittaker if you're not going to put him in with Boatsy again, because really he needs a rematch, doesn't he? We've seen rematches for a lot less, haven't we? Now, if Eddie Hills had been involved with this show, all we'd be getting now on IFL, Boxing Social, Seconds Out and all these other YouTubers, whatever it is, how the, they feel that Dan Aziz were robbed and he should be getting a rematch because of slick gate. Eddie would go into full Eddie Hills mode, wouldn't he? So why aren't you doing this, Ben Shalom, for your guy, Dan Aziz? So as far as I'm concerned, he's a rematch or throw Dan Aziz under the bus. Just get, just look after yourself, but don't tell him that. Get him thrown under the bus. That's what you'll be thinking, because it will have crossed your mind if we put Dan in with Ben Whitaker, what do you think we're throwing him under a bus? Dan would feel, why put him in with him? That's how he'd feel. But the pride in him would want to fight him and get stuck into Ben Whitaker. But if he lost, he'd be thrown under a bus and there was a pecking order. But why not? We, we're in we're in the, the game of making fights, aren't we? People screaming for left, right and centre. That's what the game is, isn't it? Get Whitaker put in with Dan Aziz. We'll see how hard he is then. There'll be no showboating in that fight. And if he pulls it off and showboats, well, you've got one for the future, haven't you? So I look at it. Oh, get him in with Batsy rematch. So there you go. Uh, fully blown. Oh, he's a fully blown whopper, Ben. I agree with you, Marcus. I agree with you. Ben Whittaker's a fully blown whopper. A bit like Jam Roly Poly with all his Fantasy Island stories. Go win a belt and we'll get behind you then instead of beating waste, man. I agree. Where's Crusher Ben's power gone? Who cares? He ain't going no more. Needs to start getting some boiled eggs down in with soldiers. Uh, I see Reese Bellotti won. He's a British champion now, super by the way. Good luck to him. Sean Porter saying that Costa Zoo's son, Tim Tazoo, is a perfect fit for Keith Furman. I don't know where you're looking, mate. Keith Furman would get wrote off against Tim Tazoo. Absolutely wrote off. So people going out to bat for the friends in American media. Jog on with all that, Sean Porter. Uh for the record, Thurman is 36 year old and he's 30 wins, one defeat. And uh, in his last, it's, sorry, it's five years. He's over two years out of the ring and it's five years since he last won a world title or last defended a world title. Five years. So it is what it is, isn't it? It's uh, so. Berman's five years since he was dining at the top table and two years since he actually dined at the table and they're putting him in with Tim Tazoo at a weight that he's never fought at before, at a higher weight. But Tim Tazoo's tailor-made for uh, for Keith Thurman. Well said, Sean Porter, you weapon. You absolute weapon going into bat for your pal. Trying to get people to buy into that fight. It's a lot of old tosh. Get your money on Tim Tazoo to win. Straight win. Don't go for a knockout. Tim Tazoo to beat Thurman on points. That's where the safe money is on that one. Okie dokie. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Let me know what you think to the video. Comment section. Oh, Yaka. How's it going, John Roly Poly? How many lies have you told today? Hey, come see me. I'm here all day.